Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to explore Streamlit's newest feature, Session State Prep. So this is a very exciting feature that everybody has been waiting for. So Session State simply is a way that we use to track whatever you are doing within a browser, within a session, right? It's a way you can store information across app interactions and rerun. So this is the official website the, and an official tutorial, blog.streamlit.io. It gives a lot of information about this wonderful feature right session state so now let's see how to actually implement session state and build something very cool right so i'm just going to go back to my app so this is my app here and then this is a simple tutorial one. so if i go to the app straight away and i check this particular place there are, the session state here is empty right there's nothing there right and if i go back to the settings option of the app something very simple i have this simple text here which is session state is here so in case i want to increase the font of this particular one so if i go with increase font it's going to increase the font to 17 if i add another one 22 right very simple so session, session state is here now if i move from this particular part of the app right this particular page and i go to let's say the about page this is 22 initially and i come back again to the settings it is still 22 right nothing has changed right very cool that is a concept about session state so you're able to store the information in that particular session right right and then even though i rerun the app over and over again it is still stored there right in case you want to feel that the app was rerunning let's try it again so i increase the font here you see that it's running right the app is running here as you can see so i increase it again the app is running right so i'm storing the session right the information across several reruns and it's still working if i move up from this particular place to the home you're going to see the information stored there right so these are going to be all the current state right 32 very simple if i go back again to the settings of the app and i go back here it's still going to be 32 as it was i can decrease the font so this is a very nice feature that allows you to do a lot of things right very cool so how does this session state work so the simplest approach is that let me show you a simple picture this is how it works so in streamlit a session state belongs to a particular user or a particular browser tab right so a single user accessing my streamlit app or my streamlit server app is a single browser tab right so if i have if i'm on this same pc and i open several browsers or browser tab they are all going to be seen as different users and different sessions are going to be created for all of them right so user a if user a access this particular app with that particular browser that you browser tab that you have opened is a different session altogether and the information of that particular browser tab or that user is stored in in one session right perfect if another browser tab is open that is a different user and that's a different session also right very simple very cool this is very very use useful so it is per user per tab info storage very cool and very wonderful now let me explain it again in a different way so if i go back again to the app so we have my app here which is 22 here i'm going to open another tab so if i go, go back again let's create another new tab or let's create a new window right or a new tab or a new window this is a new window I want to show you the what I'm trying to explain. So let's put this one beside it, right? So this one's going to be here. This is going to be here, right? So I'm going to open the same app that we are having, the same local app. I'm going to access it using a different browser, right? Different tab altogether. So this is for the streamlit session, and this is 22. So once I open a new browser tab, it's going to be totally different, right? Everything is going to be different. You can see from here that this is zero. There is no initialized sessions here, as you can see. This is zero. There's nothing here. So I go back to this place, and I check out from the home page to see the current state of the sessions. You can see that this is having these particular values there, right? Twenty-two, but this is zero, right? If I let's change it from here, I'll just go back to the settings, change the color so that you know that there are different browsers. Let's move it from dark theme to light theme, right? So this is a different user. So I go back to the same place that we we're going, the settings, and I make some changes, right? That particular information stored there is not going to influence this particular part of the app, right? It's going to be different. This is 12, right? But if I go back to here, I don't know whether you can see it all. I hope everybody can see it all. This this is the font here is for 22, right? The same app is running, but different sessions have been created for each and every of the app, right? That is a concept about session state. Very cool, very nice, right? It allows you to be able to store information per that user per that tab right across several reruns right so i increase this one here to 20 
seven I, it's not affected this is not affected right because that is a t differentiation altogether if i go back again this is not affected if i decrease the point from here from this one this is going to be smaller from this that is very very interesting but the same app so the concept is that a single server or app i stream that app run it anytime i open a new browser or a new tab it's a different a different session is going to be created it's going to store and track that information for that open current browser right as you are seeing as you are seeing from the demonstration here right apologies for the noise you are hearing behind i hope the audio is okay right very nice so that is a basic understanding so if i open thousands of tabs right on my phone on this same laptop different sessions are going to be created to track that information in that particular open browser tab so the only time i'm going to lose this one here is when i come back again right and i rerun this not rerun but refresh the entire stuff so once i refresh this right or reload it let's say it's control r right i refresh it now so that everything is gone so every information there is going to be lost right so it is risk it is creating a new apologies for the noise it is creating a new session altogether right that is a basic understanding behind it so this is a new session with nothing with no information there right very nice very cool so that is a basic understanding behind stream list sessions here so it allows you to store variables and info between reruns for each computer that you run for each one of them right very cool so we have these two ones here very nice this is still seven and this is empty so in the next session we're trying to see how to actually implement the same concept of how to create your own session state how to use this particular feature right but you can also check the tutorial around in case you want that is a basic understanding so to recap it's like this right very simple the other way we can also explain is like this it is apologies for this yeah this is something else okay so anytime an app this is a simple workflow right anytime you create you work with stream streamless session state you define a variable which is going to be a clean state then anytime you apply a function on it it's going to go to the clean state you have created right and then store that particular value there anytime you call back the function it updates it like that as you can see from this particular image right so it's still going to store it until you rerun the entire stuff right until you rerun there yeah, until you not rerun until you open a new tab or you refresh the entire stuff if i go and i play the cache and i refresh it the entire sessions are going to be lost very quick you can also check for the sessions in case you want but most of the time sessions are stored on the server side right so in case you want to check it out some some of some websites can allow you to be able to do this let's go back go back to the developer tools more tools developer tools i can be able to see the session storage right but in this case it is stored on the server right on the streamless server running so click here so i go to the applications and then from here i go back to you see that we have the local storage there's nothing there right there's no information stored here the information is going to be these are the informations there right very nice and then if i go back again to the session storage here you see that there's no information because the information is actually stored on the server side most of the time right very simple so that is the basic idea behind session state in streamlit so in this session we're trying to see how to build it so thank you for watching and check the link below for some interesting materials i also have created a patreon page in case you want to support the channel you can also let us know and then you can also check the materials and the tutorials on how to master machine learning python and then stream it see you in the next session stay blessed